Guys, this is Baska very here. In the previous scenario, we have seen how to use aggregator transformations. In this scenario, 14, I am going to show you how to use the update strategy transformations. And why do we use this update strategy transformation? It generally used for updating or inserting or deleting based on the uh, based on the value which we give there. Uh, let me start with this. Okay. Before that, let me show you the source and destination table. Uh, this is a source table and destination table in the source the address field has been changed uh, and what we need to do is we need to update these address fields which are present here uh, only the address fields needs to be updated using the updated trans strategy transformation so let us go and design it i've already imported the table as company and t company both source and target let me create a mapping for this Okay, drag and drop this so company. Similarly, the target company. Before this, let us create a transformation before mapping to that. Update strategy. we can uh, drag all the columns to the update strategy transformation but i don't need what i need to do in this scenario is i just wanted to update the address not the name so what i'm going to do i'm going to just select the id and address into the updated tran strategy transformation double click on that here you can see the port here uh, data type precision scale input and output here we don't have any other options here like variable port anything we just going to update it uh, okay property in the properties we have update strategy expressions what we are going to give here and in the informatica we have a predefined um, uh, predefined constants here dd underscore update indicates that the value will be for one because it's in the uh, for update for insert it is zero for delete it is three sorry for delete it is two and for reject it is three okay just validate this okay okay and uh, forward rejected rows uh, if you checkbox uh, if you check this even though if the rejected rows are there it will forward to the next transformations uh, okay that's a level tracing level uh, tracing level it's normally the same thing the log information okay let me apply it and save okay and map these two columns here id and one more thing to be noted is uh, here uh, the target definitions the id column it should be a primary key of that uh, target in the database okay and once this is mapping is saved create a workflow for this okay it has been inserted successfully into the repository let me create a workflow uh update inside demo this is what i'm looking okay go here and change the mappings the connections to them respectively And one more thing to be noted here is uh, in the update section, treat source rows as a data driven because once if we once you are given this data driven option here, it uh, the session while running it takes the what needs to be done whether to insert to update or to delete based on the updated uh, 
strategy transformation so i am going to give this data driven option here and once that is done just uh, apply and okay connect them through this connector okay just save it to the repository before running that okay once it is saved into repository then uh, you can run this okay you can check in the monitor it's running and moreover uh, the option which i showed you at the end moment uh, in this mapping i one second let me let this job run i'll show you okay it's go succeeded okay we'll see what is the this was the original thing so if we say then sorry it has inserted this option has been inserted here uh i think something mistake i have done here so let me check that with that uh, go to the designer again okay i've given update correctly go to the workflow update insert demo but the session which i have created here is it's a update update trans demo but what i'm using is update insert demo so i th i think i have used the wrong session here let me create a correct session update trans demo this is the mapping uh, which we have created in the previous thing okay let me map to this okay mapping okay i've selected the wrong uh, mapping for the session okay and one more thing option which i told you like this is a data driven okay fine apply by default it will be data driven save this and start the workflow okay if you see now here in the database now you can see the address field has been updated the previous the problem was i have mapped it to the wrong uh, workflow that's the reason why it has been uh, not updated there and apart from this uh, what is the use of this updated strategy suppose if you have a scenario where uh, you need to route into multiple target tables without using the rotor transformation or filter transformations we can be achieve that using the updated strategy transformations uh, and um, and one more thing one more important point to uh, before i forget uh, is that if you give your did update uh, in expressions and if you in the session if you change this what is a like uh, instead of data driven if you give any other option like insert or delete any option that then what the what it does is it ignores the uh, mapping uh, level properties 
okay so be careful with that thank you for watching please do subscribe